everyone, it's James from Keeping It Anime, and today we'll be talking chapter 108 of We Never Learn, the manga series. And it's chapters like these that make me love the character Aizumi Koanami so much more. Like, she is personally my favourite character of the We Never Learn franchise. And this chapter just did leaps and bound for characterization for her. I absolutely loved it. It had a lot of emotion within this chapter, and it showed brilliantly. So, as we all know, in chapter 107, we found out that the Koen Army Clinic was shutting down. We get told in this chapter the reason being is that there's a big fancy new facility with young nurses and high-tech technology implemented into this hospital. And the patients that were previously visiting the Koen Army Clinic aren't visiting anymore because they've got better facilities to go to. And Aizumi's dad basically states that, you know, he wants what's best for his patients. And he feels like them going to this big fancy new hospital is going to be better for them than going to him. That's why he feels like it's time to close the clinic. And so, yeah, that's the reason. But this chapter like I said, adds so much more layers and depth to the character of Aizumi Koenami because we have a scene where we start with her basically being out of it in a daze. She doesn't really know what to do. And Yuiga picks up on this rather quickly. And she says that she's going to work, but then her work colleagues turn up after she's left and tell Yuiga that, you know, since the cafe's closed, they're getting supplies ready. Yuiga instantly picks up on that and finds Koenami, um, you know, Aizumi sat in the rain, staring at her picture that she drew when she was a kid. The picture that she loved from last week. And, you know, whenever an anime character or a manga character sits in a rain, you know something's going to go down. But, you know what? The character of Aizumi is so great because even though she's going through this, she still finds ways and sort of timing to basically take the mick out of Yuiga because she does it before she goes off and she does it while Yuiga's like not confronting her but trying to consult her like for example in this chapter when Yuiga is talking to her about the um about what's happening and the picture that she holds dear to her goes into the river and he tries to jump in to save it obviously we know Yuiga can't swim so it's a nice gesture, you eager, but you're going to get yourself in more trouble. And, um, you know, anyway, they don't get the picture back from the looks of this chapter. And um, they're sat in, like, the little dome thing. They're like, sat in this little kid's park dome, trying to shout themselves in the rain. Co um, Izumi tells you eager what's happened and what she heard. And then you eager pats her on the head. And... You know, the comedy comes into play here because while Yuiga's got a hand on her head, she goes, what's this about? Are you trying to make me cry, Koa? Remember, I'm your senpai. With that devious look on her face, she has that going for her as a character, and she always does it when she can. Even in a situation like this, and she's calling him a jerk, a player, a horny toad. But then afterwards, you see the most beautiful panel drawn perfectly, and it's her crying. She's so sad, she doesn't know what to do anymore. She doesn't know what to work towards because her dreams of running the clinic and watching it strive, it's just being crumbled and is crumbling down at a rate that she can't handle. And this chapter gets that message across beautifully. And another comedy thing that she says while she's crying, Yuiga's just like, right. And then she goes, you're younger than me. And he goes, yes. And she replies with, and you're a horn dog. Yes. And you keep patting me on the head, you dummy. Yes. And, you know, Yuiga's being kind and sincere in his own way. And it's brilliant. And then afterwards, after she, like, shouts at him, Sundarlay Starwin tells him, forget what you've seen, her mother appears. Of all people... Aizumi's mother appears and just goes, 
Oh my, you're making progress. And then the chapter ends with a bit of dodgy wordplay. Because we find out earlier that there's going to be a nurse cosplay event at the cafe, um, Yuriga's requested some more hours. And then he goes, oh senpai, let's play doctor together. And then the best reaction possible on um, Aizumi's face appears and the chapter looks like it ends. For some reason, oh yeah, yeah, it does. Next chapter, April 26th. Okay, so yeah, this chapter for me was fantastic. I 100% loved this chapter with everything that it had. Emotion, brilliant art, emotion that got across brilliantly, brilliant character development for Aizumi, and I'm looking forward to where this is going to go. I really am. Like I said, she's my favourite character of the We Never Learn franchise or series. And I love every chapter that comes with her, whether it's emotional or whether it's comedic. And this one had a mixture of the two that balanced out perfectly. Now it's time for you guys to let me know what you thought of this chapter. I know it's just been released, um, but I want to know your thoughts. Did you like it? Do you like Aizumi as a character? Um... And what do you think she's going to do in future chapters? Do you think she's going to fight to keep the clinic open? Or do you think she's going to go towards something else? Personally speaking, I want her to have that desire to fight for what she um, wants to do. And that's to keep the clinic open. If she doesn't and does something else, I think this chapter will be diminished quite a bit. Because the emotion that she feels, um, you know, may be seen as not really that significant. Or maybe they'll change her desires and plans, but do it in a brilliant way. But personally speaking, I would like her to stick with her dream of running the clinic, because that's what I believe um, we've build, been building towards in the last few chapters, and I think that she'll do great doing it. Oh, and it turns out, as a side note, her mother is a surgeon overseas, uh, part-time. Just thought I'll add that in at the end because I forgot to mention it earlier. But yeah, that's going to be it for this review. Um, a solid, yeah, again, a 9 out of 10 chapter. I loved it. Again, a little bit of bias because it's my favourite character, but everything involved in this chapter was just brilliant. So, with that out of the way, smash that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video from me, and until next time, guys, have a brilliant day, and keep it anime. Later.